my little boy boot and I'm gonna take it out on woo peepity poppity pole because they mix it around with the Oreo flavor with calcium woo poppity Hello YouTube and welcome to Papyrus and Fempiari Motorsports Park for the Holiday in All-Star Race. I'm Stephen Moore and I'm going to bring you live 16 lap coverage of this All-Star Race. Uh, there's been a lot of drama leading up to this race and the points points race season and stuff. And uh, of course there's been a lot of ways that drivers have been eligible for this such as two wins last season, two pulls this season, um, and just wins this season, and top five in the points, the two showdown drivers, and the fan vote. The fan vote, yes, I said the fan vote. There is a huge twist to who our third driver is in this all-star race going by this weekend. The first was Danny Wells, the showdown winner. The second was Sean Galligan. Sean Galligan was supposed to be the fan vote, but since he got in by the all-star race, we have a new driver. That guy right there. Uh, five, five votes behind Sean Galligan, and really, um, Trent is so glad about that, because uh, there's some drivers higher than him in the points, notably Andrew Schwartz, but uh, that, that haven't that di that didn't uh, qualify for this all-star race so Trent got him by the fan vote and you should be thankful for the fans for that and here's your starting lineup Angel Hernandez on the pole Jack Richards two wins in a row in points races he's second row two has the 60 well first time with the easy seat on the car I think Mark Edwards and the degree car of Corey Williams and here's the rest of your starting lineup So we're gonna get going here. Twenty-five drivers for uh, for a prize, and starting back next to last is this car, the eighteen Matt McMurray. Wasn't he supposed to be in the All Star race? But he won the Bud Shootout. That's how he's here. And I have no, I, I can't guarantee that he's gonna do well. I can't guarantee that anyone's gonna do well. But I have no doubt in my mind that that eighteen is not gonna be at the front at the end. I mean, I have no doubt at all that that 18 is going to be at the front. I, I, he just he just has the right mentality for these non-points races. Won the Bud Shoot at this season, All-Star season, one second All-Star last season. And here we go. Angel Hernandez, our season one champion, will bring him down to the green flag here for the All-Star race. Come through the first couple of corners. Hernandez has been on the rise in the points lately. I think he's around 16th, which is very good compared to last season. Oh, they're getting close to the right-hander, and that's where all the drama is going to be occurring. And who's behind Jeff Ellers there? Uh-oh. Something ha Oh, gosh, there's a wreck already. And they're still wrecking up here. Oh, Matt McMurray, Brendan McDowell, last season's All-Star winner. Looks like Dougie Shears I just saw with rear damage. So was Arnold Columbia. Murray. Ellis, the points leader. Connor Breeton, the Homestead winner. Kaplan, Pacioli, DJ Sorensen. Wow. What a start to the All-Star Race. Everyone from the back trying to get to the front. And looks like they just got wrecked. I don't think there was any trouble coming through the right-hander. There wasn't many... There weren't as many cars... And looks like it's going to be the two in the 99, Hernandez and Jack Richards. And Mark Edwards, look at CJ Sorensen as well in the 32 coming to the inside. Hernandez will lead the first lap of the All-Star race. So, pace cars coming out now, and let's see what happens. 
Okay, here we go. It started with this car. He was one of the cars here involved. Oh, Columbia turns the 40 of Danny Wells, the showdown winner, right down into DJ. And there's Connor Breton. Rear wheels get taken up off the ground. Then there's some of these cars with just nowhere to go. Look at DJ and Kenny Murray. Look at the 80, 89. It's like a... Look at... And they, it goes right over the 87 of Connor Breton. He lands it. But that was a scary moment for that 89 car. Now, there's still some wrecking up here. There's Jesse Kaplan. Who... All, he and DJ, they weren't even supposed to be in this race. But they were top five in the points. Oh, oh, gee. They had it through. McDowell just avoided the wreck. And there was the 15 of Kaplan. We're going to ride on board with DJ. This is going to be a wild ride for this 89 car. He wasn't he didn't even start too far back. He started 11th. <laughs> that was kind of sudden. He was kind of blindsided there. Yes, you're looking at it. They're coming on for pit stops. And it looks like it's going to be everyone. Here. And you see, there's kind of Breton back there. It's so much damage. I don't even know how he's still running. Pacioli, DJ Sorensen, Jesse Kaplan, and unfortunately, the 18 of Matt McMurray. Really uh, looking for this to be an opportunity for some luck on, on that uh, 18 team. So... I'm just going to take a look at these pit stops, and then we'll get back to the restart. They're all on pit road. Every driver left. Hernandez comes off. Looks like maybe a splash and go. Jack Richards is going to lose a few spots. As they all come off pit road. Let's get back to the restart now. Hernandez will lose. Alright, sorry about that, guys. Uh, Hernandez continues to lead. Mark Edwards second. CJ third. See, Seth Coles losing some ground again, and nor the damage blitz. I can say that a lot this season and in this race. Here they go down to turn th and oh, Why did I say that? The right-hander. Surprisingly, the first wreck didn't occur in this corner, and whoa, three wide back here. I think Columbia does have... that. That's real damage on the car. Some, some drivers like Seth Cole... Well, I guess it went away. Here comes Jack Richards in the 99. Here comes the four of Alex Filter back there as well. Look at Seth Cole with a crossover. Almost got him to CJ there. He's in the race by virtue of his two. Hello, YouTube, and welcome to the Papyrus Motorsports Park here. For the moment you've all been waiting for, and uh, if you can hear these fans out here today, what they and all of you watchers out there on YouTube have been waiting for is the Holiday Inn All-Star Race. I'm Stephen Moore bringing you live flag-to-flag -flag coverage of today's race uh, for a prize here to be known as the All-Star Champion. We've had two in the past. Matthew McMurray Season 1, Brandon McDowell Season 2. They're both here in today's race today. And on the pole is DJ Sorensen. He's in by virtue of his points position. Now you may notice the 11 car that's starting next to him. That's Trent Dunham, yes. He's in the All-Star race. Uh, because Sean Gallagher finished second. He would have been the fan vote winner. But since he got finished second in the showdown and got in, the fan vote went to whoever was behind him. And that would be that 11 car. Trent Dunham will start second, our fan vote winner. Row 2 has the 99 of Jack Richards, who's won two races in a row at uh, the, coming in here. And that was uh, Talladega and Richmond. He starts next to the number 6 of Diego Spina, uh, who's in by virtue of two wins last season at Talladega and Pigscliff. And this season, he won at Las Vegas. So, yes, uh, here's the rest of your starting line for the Holiday and All-Star Race. Your I don't know if we caught it there, but uh, we're getting ready here for our third annual Holiday and All-Star Race. And um, 25 drivers 
here going for the win. Now, uh, if, if you don't follow my series closely, the guy that knows what, how to get it done in the non-points race is this car right here, the 18, and that is Matt McMurray. Oh, sorry. And here's his history in non-points races. Second in the showdown season one. One all-star race season one. Finished second in the all-star, uh, no. Finished second in the Bud Shootout season two. Second in the all-star race season two. And won the Bud Shootout. So he's never finished worse than second in a non-points race. That is, that's just incredible. And he's looking to do the same today. Here they come down the front straightaway, getting ready to take the green flag here at Papyrus for the Holiday Inn All-Star Race. We are green here at Papyrus Motorsports Park. And they go down to turns one and two. DJ Sorensen in that 89 car. Once again, in by virtue of his points position, he's fifth. He would have no other way to get in. Oh, look at this. Three wide back here. Timmy Pacioli in the middle, the eight bowl winner. Let's get back up front. Jack Richards, three wide, but uh, now Dougie Shears in the 19 for TriStar Race uh, Motorsports. Is up near the front behind the 89 for Faith Racing. Faith Motorsports, I should say. Jack Richards there in third, and that Pastrana Walsh Racing Toyota. And now there's the 18. The champion of not of non-points races has driven the has driven the Pizza Ranch Toyota up to third already. Look at the pack back there. In the middle of it is the four of Alex Filter. It looks like all clean so far. Looking good. Dougie Shears, the Cam Valley winner, looks for the lead. And here he comes off of off of the final corner and he is going to lead the first lap of the all-star race in the Brooks Shears Chevy his teammates the 14 of Johnny Gardner he didn't make the race there's teammates battling for third the fan vote winner Trent Dunham in that 11 car he's side by side with the 18 of Matt McMurray Woo! Hernandez the season one champion that's the only reason he's in this race in that two car. Into the right hander, toughest corner on the track. Whoa! Look at Pacioli get a good run through there. Four wide! Oh, Columbia scrapes the wall in the 20. And up the hill and into this corner. I really didn't count the corners on here, but. DJ Sorensen, and there is uh, second place in the showdown. The 38 of Sean Galligan is pulled into second place. Shears third, Dunham fourth, and three wide for fifth between Breton, McMurray, and Hernandez. Now, this is where all the action is. Oh, oh there they go! Jeff Eller's around! Oh, did he save that car? Did he save it? Oh my... And Corey Williams might have been caught up. Okay, we're gonna have to take a look at that. That was just incredible. He's gonna get turned by Kenny Murray. Oh, Corey really turned him in the right direction. Okay, well... Here they go on the right-hander now. Trent Dunham looking for third. Taking advantage of the great qualifying position. And I should really say that he's taking advantage of the spot in this race. Oh, points leader Steven Ellis there. Making a little contact with the wall. Not too harmful. 16 lap race. This time we'll be completing lap three. And your leader is Sean Galligan. Let's see where our showdown winner is, Danny Wells. He's back here hanging at the back a, a bit in the Key Motorsports Chevy. There are rumors that this 40 car might not be in competition next season. But but it was uh, nice to see a rather underfunded team like this get in victory lane. But even more so, they made the chase last season with Corey Williams as their driver. And we've seen how far Corey's gone in this series this season. 
Looks like these two have actually pulled away almost a two-car tandem, or not. DJ goes to the inside. Here comes Hernandez and Pacioli. And McMurray. The line that Connor Breton's running, uh, don't be side-by-side side when you're to the driver's left. That you run side by side with, uh, you will you might lose a spot or two. You see Britain drift up the track, and Dougie Shears goes by. To run on board with Timmy Pacioli, just to get an idea of the closing rate that these guys got with the momentum entering the right hander. Oh, look at them! Here comes Hernandez with the run. Oh, DJ! Wow. Galligan almost turned DJ Sorensen. That 89 car is fast. And I said I said it about three times. There's the 18 car just lurking. Single file now for the first maybe nine cars. As they cross the line. Now Galligan pulls out. And Hernandez. Ooh! Late, late reaction there by Hernandez. Pacioli was already down there. And, oh, caution's out. Oh, Danny Wells, Corey Williams. Looks like something's happened to our showdown winner. Looking to go for 2-2 two to two today. Looks like it won't happen. Let's see. Ah, uh, the difficulty of the right-hander uh, captures Danny Wells here. Three wide entering. And Danny Wells slides up the track. Doesn't make contact with the wall. But but he comes. Oh, uh, Edwards just came up on the 40 there. And oh, John Dillon makes contact. So does Ellis. Oh, and Corey with the big hit there on the 40. So yeah, tough break for a showdown winner, Danny Wells. And let's get back to the restart. Okay, so a little twist on this caution. We had. Uh, everyone pit except for these two cars, the 20 of Arnold Columbia, the 66 of Seth Cole. By the way, I really like that paint scheme on the 20 car, the first time he's run it. Columbia's in by virtue of two wins last season, coming at Ricky Raceway when he was the last man standing, and Pigs Creek Super Speedway. And here we go, we're back racing. Only two cars were out of the race, and uh, unsurprisingly it was Corey Williams and... Um, Danny Wells. Here's a coming during the first corner and old tires. Those two cars got a pretty good start there. Rusty Wallace Racing just announced that they will not be returning to the to competition in this series next season. There's Galleon. Woo! Almost drifted up into the 66. Now here comes uh, Hernandez in the two and Alex Filter. Uh, quietly running the top five. Whoa! That was close. Almost ran in the back of Seth Cole, and Seth actually got a bit of momentum from that. It looks like ooh, that was close there between CJ and the 99 of Jack Richards. Columbia, Cole, Galligan, Filter, and DJ Sorensen. That's your top five. Pacioli, Hernandez, Shears, McDowell, who started last. He's up in nine. Oh, there goes Stephen Ellis. 33 around. Back there, and oh, Jack Richards in the 99 as well, and Caution's out for the second time, and they didn't even complete a lap. Looks like Columbia in the 20 here is going to lead. And here comes Seth Cole trying to challenge. And Columbia leads. Let's see what happened to the uh, 33. Well, uh, Stephen Ellis announced that he will be driving this 33 next season. Let's see what happened. Looks like, oh, Fitzpatrick just got into him there. And, oh, Jack Richards, an innocent bystander in the 99. And Richards made contact with the wall there, I guess. But, uh, yeah, those are the two cars involved. Let's get back with the restart here in the All-Star. Okay. Surprisingly, the 20 and the 66 come to pit road, but the reason why is that there is three laps to go in this race. And these guys uh, know that track position is important right now. Columbia, Cole, Filter, Galligan, DJ Sorensen, Green Flag, Seth Cole with a great start. He goes to the inside of the 20 of Arnold Columbia. And he's going to take the lead in that five-hour Infinite Hero Toyota. Filter to second. 
And there's Sean Galligan, who's been near the front. Oh, jeez. Around goes Seth Cole. Oh, no, the leader gets turned with a bunch. Oh, filters on his roof. Huge wreck. Here at Papyrus in the All-Star Race. Ah, oh, lots of great race cars taken out. Three wide. This is for the lead. This is not for the win. We'll have a green-white checker. Galligan, and there's Brendan McDowell in that 81 car. This is his last drive in the race, and he wants to make the most of it. Pacioli getting a run here through the uphill corner. They're going to come through the final corner. Sean Galligan is, looks like he's going to have the lead in this 38 car. But boy, would it be something for Galligan to win. Hasn't had much luck in these past two seasons and into this season. And that's that 38 car going to lead. Boy, Alex Filter took a wild ride. I don't know how that car is still chugging along. But you got to feel for Seth Cole. Was leading off of turn two and just got turned by DJ Sorensen. Let's see what happened. Man, you got to feel for Seth. He really just had a great car. And did I mistake myself saying that uh, DJ turned him? I meant Alex Filter. And Filter, of course, was involved in the wreck. Looks like Filter possibly could have had help from Sean Galligan here, though, as well. But the four got into the 66. Really just unfortunate for these two. They definitely had maybe the two fastest car in the, cars in the race, along with Galligan, Columbia, and a few others. But Seth certainly looked like he had the momentum. He's going to get turned. There's Seth coming off the inside wall. He's going to slide up. Joshua Courier makes contact. There's Hernandez. Oh, Hernandez gets a little airborne as well. And there, there's the hit. The, the 32, CJ Sorensen, was the one that turned him upside down. That is Matt McMurray right there getting involved in the 18. It looks like he won't finish first or second in this race. There's Shears in the 19. There's Jeff Ellers. I think he actually made it through in that 34. And then yeah, look at the four. He just continues to tumble. Really a shame for that team. Jesse Kaplan involved in the 15. Now let's get back with the restart. A wild ride for Alex Filter. Uh, but now it's time for Green White Checkered. Here we go. Two laps left here in the Holiday and All-Star Race. It'll be Galligan, last season's winner, McDowell, Columbia, DJ Sorensen, Timmy Pacioli, Edwards, Ospina, Dunham, Fitzpatrick, Ellis, who brought out a, the second caution, is running 10th. The whole field's going to direct for Matt McMurray to get a top two finish, I would have to say. But Sean Galligan in this 38 car finished second in the showdown to get in this race. He brings him back to the green in that Turner Motorsports Chevy. Look at the six car, Ospina with a big move. Three wide under the 22 and the 60. They, he knows that he want, he he needs to get to this, get to the front if he wants a shot at it. Columbia, uh, or Galligan I should say, formerly drove that 20 car who's trying to make a move. DJ Sorensen might make it three wide. Looks like Galligan's gonna keep the lead going into the right hander. Ooh, Ospina contact with DJ. DJ's going to go up the track. And here they come. Sean Galligan getting a bit of a lead. DJ in the wall. Ooh, here comes Columbia trying to get a run. There's McDowell who came out of the blue to win the, the All-Star Race last season at Pigs Cliff. Here we go, coming to the white flag. McDowell almost got a run on Columbia. Teammates running fourth and fifth. Diego Espina, Mark Edwards, who was involved in the first caution. Here they come. White flag, Sean Galligan in the 38 car. Boy, he's going to be overjoyed if he ends up with the win, but you can't say anything yet. Here comes McDowell coming under Columbia. He's got it. 
and he's bringing Ospina in the six with him. Oh, boy, that 81's got to run. That pink number 81 is trying to win his second all-star race in a row. Oh, he's got to run. Here he comes. Here he comes. Contact. Oh, Galligan's going to keep it. He's in the wall. McDowell on the outside. Side by side, entering the uphill corner. Here they come. Galligan's going to be clear. Now, Diego Spin is the one with a shot at this. McDowell's on the outside. He really can't do anything. Can Ospina make that final move on Sean Galligan coming through the final corner? He's just had a great car all race, made it in by the showdown. Ospina's a little too far back, it looks like. Coming off the final corner here, Papyrus Motorsports Park. Our third annual Holly and All-Star race is won by Sean Galligan in the 38 car. And he will take the win. Oh, he'll be overjoyed with that. This, that's just the confidence booster this team needs. We'll wait for the 66 to cross the line. Well, there's your winner right there. Number 38, Sean Galligan. Diego Spina, man. He, he was fighting hard those whole two laps to be able to take second place. Certainly a strong run by Arnold Columbia. He didn't even make a pit stop the whole race. McDowell will end up fourth. Uh, last year's winner, of course, in the 81. And uh, farewell, McDowell. Uh, Ellis fifth. Uh, what, a, what a comeback after that spin there to bring out the second caution. Fitzpatrick, last year's champion, ends up sixth. I don't know how either. DJ Sorensen certainly had a fast car. He'll end up eighth. Oh, there's Matt McMurray. That streak of top two finishes in non-points race will end today. You should just go down through the list. And the car's out of the race. Kaplan, Sorensen, Hernandez, Filter, Wild Ride for the four car. Well, we saw a lot in this all-star race. Certainly exciting. But Sean Galligan had the track position at the end, and he comes out with the win in the Great Clip Chevrolet. And thanks for watching, everyone, and we will see you for the next points race at the Charlotte Motor Speedway, the Coke 600. Thanks for watching, everyone.